okay this video is for the new volunteer orientation at hindu temple of minnesota we are here at the front desk with our dedicated volunteer prasanna hi prasanna hi and she is going to uh, give a instruction on what a new volunteer is supposed to do in the front desk and how to use the desktop application okay we are now we are in the beginning once you boot the system this is the first screen you see is that right prasanna yes this you is have new uh, three new icons what is that um there's front desk system admin and guest and the volunteers are supposed to click on the front desk one okay and then it will ask you for a password okay and the password is front desk f upper case and d upper case no nope, front desk is all lower case okay and then 2010 and it's 2010 good and then you press enter you should not enter as a administrator or guest you should go through front desk mm -hmm. and front desk 2010 is the password and then quickbooks cash register pops up that's the desktop application great okay so we are using a desktop application called quickbook cash register plus and then it asks you to sign in again except this time the username you have to make sure the volunteers put it as front desk and not admin okay and then the password for this one is f desk 123 f desk 123 anything upper case no nope, it's all lower case okay then you sign in it will take couple of minutes yeah. to load okay that application okay let's wait for that to load yep okay now it's loaded okay and then on the right side right here we have all our different departments okay like archana in temple services anniversary food services merchandise donation abhishekam okay. a devotee is coming here so we have our uh, devotee and our volunteer raju may i have one uh, archana please yeah he asked for an archana so click on the astotra archana Astotra Archana, okay. And then it's Archana regular because it's eleven dollars. Okay. So I click on that. Okay, and you also want Kar Puja? Uh, uh, yes, I do actually. Okay. Then How do you? Then you go to In Temple Services. Okay. And it's Kar or Vahana Puja. Okay. But first, you have to make sure the priests are available oh. to do the Kar Puja. Yeah. Okay. The the front desk volunteer has to make sure that, or yes. the devotee has to make sure that. Both of them have to. Okay, as to make sure the priests are available to do that, and yes. then only we can take a payment. The front desk volunteer should make sure whether the devotee asked for it, otherwise he need to make sure their time is available. Yes. Okay, all right. Then the priest is available now, so I'll click Kar Vahana Puja. Okay. And then, would you like anything else? That's all. Um, uh, we will. You can even buy uh, food uh, tickets here, right? Right. You can also buy food. Food tickets here, and it's on food services. Okay. And you click on that, and it's lunch five dollars. Okay. So one lunch. Okay. And if you want more than one, you just click them again. Okay. Just then say for an example, I want to do only um, archana. How do you remove any item if you add to the cart? Oh, then you just since this is highlighted already. Yeah. Then you click delete item. Delete item in the bottom. Okay. Then when I click that, that disappears. Okay. Now if I want to get rid of the car puja too, I click it again and okay. now only the archana. Now only archana. Okay, the devotee is giving a credit card. What next? Then you say take payment. Take payment. And since it's a credit card, I'll click credit. Uh it's in the bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is a visa card. Okay. So I can just it's already on visa, so I can say was the authorization successful? Yes. Okay. And they'll print a receipt oh okay but you also have to make sure you swipe the card okay you swipe the card okay and then it says confirm confirm and you press f1 yes okay 
then you have to type in the amount. So eleven dollars. So one one zero zero. All right, zero zero has to be entered. Okay. Then you have to press the green Otherwise, it will charge eleven cents, right. right? Okay. So then you have to press the green button to enter it, and the receipt will take a while to. Yeah, it is communicating to the central server. Yes. Okay. And make sure you give the credit card back to the devotee. And in the meanwhile, I can also give them. This is the bag for the archana, and there always has to be two apples and one of these ticket cards in okay. there. Okay. So mm -hmm. Then I have to remember to make sure the devotee signs his receipt. Okay. And then I also give him his receipt. All right. Thank you. And the transaction is over. Yes, that's Thank you. What if the devotee wants a second receipt or something? You know? If he wants a different receipt, then right now in items and departments, uh -huh. to print a duplicate receipt, you go to admin. Okay. And you click, wait, no, you, you go to receipts. Okay. And you click find. Okay. And then it will show the last receipt that was printed. Okay. And this was the $11 Archana that we just did. Fantastic. So then we click on that and we say print duplicate. Okay. And then we'll be printing another receipt. Oh, perfect. What if someone is asking for a change? I need to open this drawer, yes. um, but there is no transaction involved. There is no key for this, so in order to open the cash box, you have to go to admin this time. Admin, okay. And you say open cash drawer. Okay. And in here, this is where you put the receipts that the devotees signed back in here. Okay. And the checks go in here and cash and change too. Perfect. Is there anything else you would like to say? Do you want to say that for cash transactions, the cash drawer is open? Okay. Um, the cash box will not open unless you click on the open cash drawer, except when the devotee pays by cash, the cash box will automatically open up. But if the devotee pays with credit card or check, then you have to, in order to put the receipt back in or put the check back in, you have to go to admin and click on open cash drawer. Okay, that's good. Then once your shift is over, you return back to admin. Okay. And you have to do do end of the day tasks. Oh, okay. So it's a I closing the register. Yes, and okay. then the register opens up. Then it says the balance calculator for this cash drawer is two hundred sixty nine, but you have to go back and double check and count them all, and then you have to put in how much cash did you count for this drawer. Okay. So sometimes there might be a little difference in the number that they give you and what you count, but that's then you have to state the difference and why it, there is a different amounts, and you can just say transaction error. Okay. And then after that, it'll tell you the cash drawer balances now, and then you click next. Actually, do you want to count it? No, just do it. Okay, so if I, so let's say I counted 200 in here, so I will click 200, and then I have to make sure I add those last zero, zero, okay. or else it'll show up as $2. Okay. So 200. Then it says the difference is $69. That I can say the difference is because of paid outs not recorded. Okay. Then I click on next, and the next step is how much money you want to move out of the cash drawer. And the balance now that we counted was $200, and it asks you how much cash do you want to move out. Always remember to at least leave $50 in the cash box. Okay, at and least $50 with uh, most of them are changes. Yes, most of them $1 bills or change or at least five, some $5 bills too. Okay. And I can, if I, let's say I want to move out $150 today. Okay. One five zero and then zero zero again. Okay. Then it says, why are you moving this cash out? The only reason we're going to be moving this cash out is for the safe drop. Okay. So now our cash drawer balance, after I move those $150 out, is $50. Okay. Then I'll click on next again. And now this just tells you the end of the day report. And you click next. And then this is next again. 
And then right here, this is a really important step. You have to make sure you click back up now. Okay. Because I'll back up the entire system. And after, then I'll click. You have to make sure you click on it. And after you click on it, it'll take a minute to load. And after it is done, it'll say backup successful. And then after that, you can just click done. And then you're done for your shift. Perfect. And then you can just exit out of it. Okay. Okay, Prasanna, now the transaction are all happened, you closed the register and everything and uh, now somebody has to sign up, sign out the computer and do some manual work for closing the register, right? Yes. Could you please explain that? That $150 that I wanted to remove from the cash box, I have to move it out and I have to write how many bills I did, counted. So if I've got 10 $10 bills, then I would write count 10 and... Maybe I had $21. This is for bills. cash only. Yes, cash only this. And then I'd write my totals out, which was $150 that I decided to remove. You have five ten dollar bill and you have twenty-one dollar bill. Yeah, just so twenty uh, yeah, okay. Fifty plus twenty is hundred and twenty, right? Yeah, but then if I had like extra fifteen dollar bills and twenty dollar yeah, bills, stuff like that. Okay, yeah, we add up that. Then for the then what, then you also have to make sure you count how many checks you have. So I had two checks, and they were ten dollars in total. Okay. Both of them. Then I. This is the hard part. The credit cards. There's going to be a many credit card receipts. So you have to make sure you count each one. Let's say I had today. Let's say I had thirty-two. Okay. Then I have to. Now I counted how many receipts I got. Now I have to make sure what the total amount of money was. Okay. So I can say. Maybe that was 260. Okay. Now I have to add the entire total cash, checks, and credit card. Okay. And that is $420 in total. Oh, okay. You also have to remember to put the Put that date, date and the volunteer name? Yep. So okay. So that goes here. And if there were any special events in the slot. So from 4 to 6, if there were any special events in your designated time, then you would write, like, oh, Abhishekha. Okay. Then any comments like, oh, there wasn't enough cash in the box or something like that. Then after you're done with this, you fold this up and the amount of money you counted and the receipts and the checks and you put it in an envelope. Okay. And you write your name and your time and the date on it. Okay. And you come here and you put it in the cash box over here. Okay. Oh, now there is one here. Which one? Right here. That, that the front desk. Okay. Yes, front desk. Okay. And you put it in there. Okay. And then after that, you have to make sure you sign out of everything. Oh, yeah, from the computer. So you have to say sign out front desk. Okay. And it'll take a while. Then you exit out. And log out the system. And then you can press log off. Okay. And perfect. that's it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Prasanna, You're for your help. Namaste. My name is GP. I am the front desk volunteer and front desk chair at Hindu Mandir temple. As you know, this is the biggest and largest temple in North America and we are expanding and growing bigger. We need your help. To man front desk, we need lots of volunteers. So my humble request to all of you watching this video is to sign up as volunteers and come and help. Without volunteers, this temple cannot operate and this temple is operating because of volunteers. So we thank you for that. So please contact me at friendeskhindumandir dot org again friendesk at hindu mandir yeah, dot org all are at my phone number seven six three four five eight three three seven five online form we also have online you can sign up at uh, hindu mandir mn dot org website also we, we can also send an email to uh, jeshri ramarjam who is our volunteer coordinator any questions again? My number is 763 458 3375. Thank you and hope to see you here at the front desk for volunteering.